In this video, we provide the solution to question number three for practice exam four for math 1050. We have the exponential function f of x equals c times a to the x. We don't know c or a yet, but we do know that this exponential passes through the points 0, 80 and 2, 20. So using these two points, we're going to fill in for c and a right here. That's what we have to figure out. Now notice that the first point is given to you as the y-intercept. This is the initial value of the exponential function. If you have the y-intercept for an exponential, that's what you want to plug in first. Because notice that if you plug in f of 0, well, since it passes through the point 0, 80, we know f of 0 equals 80. Um, but we also know that c times a to the 0. Even though we don't know what a is yet, we do know that a to the 0 is equal to 1. So this is just going to give us the value c. So, so for this exponential function, the initial value, 80, is the coefficient c. So now we know that f of x has the form uh, 80 times a to the x. That's where the second point is going to come into play here. We can plug in 2, so f of 2. We know this is equal to 20 since it passes through the point 2 comma 20. But we also know this is going to equal 80 times a squared. And so we're going to solve for a in this situation. Uh, so the next thing to do is divide both sides of the equation by 80. We're trying to solve for a in this expression. Uh, of course, 20 over 80 is the same thing as 2 over 8, and 2 goes into 8 four, uh, four times, so we end up with 1 fourth is equal to a squared. Uh, we're then going to take the square root of both sides to get rid of the square. Um, we only have to take care of the positive square root, uh, because if we took the negative square root, that would imply a is negative, and our assumptions about exponential functions is that the, exp the exponential base has to always be positive. So this would give us that a equals 1 half. So notice what we have here. We have that a equals 1 half. We have c equals 80. So we have to look for a function that's going to look like f of x equals 80 times 1 half to the x, in which case then we select choice b, as that's exactly what we just found.